Hey Scorpios, welcome to your racy card reading. Um, I don't need a disclaimer for you guys. I think you guys only subscribe to my channel for this. <laughs> I'm joking to all my beautiful loyal subscribers. Thank you very much for being with me this last couple of years. We've been through a lot. Three grandchildren later and I'm still here. <laughs> If you're new, welcome. Please remember to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get all the messages I post each month. And of course, I will be doing a racy card reading right now. So if you're easily offended, <laughs> yeah, right, Scorpios. Yeah, right, yeah, yeah. I don't believe it for a second. <laughs> if you're easily offended, please click off now because I don't want to offend anybody. I just want to give a variety of readings. And of course, I'll leave information about what decks of cards I'll be using in the description box along with how to contact me for personal reading. So we have forgiving and learning. Stay optimistic about your love life Scorpios. You're calling in a soulmate. Okay forgiving and learning. As you release and heal the past you experience more love in your present moments. Um you guys know I'm a Scorpio too with heavy Scorpio in my chart. I always say uh, remember and recover. I don't say forgive and forget. I say remember and recover. Um, you know, we forgive for ourselves and we should forgive ourselves as well for not knowing, um, you know, maybe or maybe for knowing and still taking the path, right? But for not doing what's best for ourselves, for not looking after ourselves most of the time. Um, forgive yourself for that and just take it as a learning curve here, okay? And release that energy. It's not serving you to hold on to anything um, or even vengeance or anything like that, okay? Um, stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. Somebody is coming, Somebody's coming. Your prayers and affirmations and visualize, visualizations help bring you together. Okay, so you're calling in a soulmate, um, releasing the energy of the past, whether you want somebody from your past or not. It's about releasing that energy. So let's see what you're calling in, of course. You guys are crazy. Oh, three of cups straight away. Somebody you can come with, of course, Scorpios. Union, happy ending. Three of cups here. Happiness, good news on the way. <laughs> You're calling them in. They're here, okay? They know how to make you happy, how to satisfy you, how you want it, what to do to make you happy. So just let go, right? Uh, allow yourself to be free and express yourself and be happy and enjoy the moment. That's two people coming together in union. Three of Cups and the Queen of Cups. Like I said, you're very happy about this. It's a very loving energy that's coming towards you. So I'm pretty sure um, that you're going to be quite doubtful about this. You're going to be like, yeah, yeah, been there before. Let that go. Let that kind of energy go now, okay? Because um, I can kind of hear like I've heard it all before, that Sunshine Anderson song. Um so, yeah, you've, you know, had it all before or heard it all before. I'm pretty sure there's some cross-watchers that Scorpio, of Scorpio say, yeah, they've had everybody before. <laughs> We're not like that, honestly. We have to really love you here. It's where we get to know somebody. We check them out, you know, via the base chakra. It's our ruling chakra here. So, yeah, you know, head down, booty up. <laughs> Get on with it. <laughs> Enjoy yourself. You're calling this person in. Very wet, I might add, with the Queen of Cups. A lot of water there, we see. Queen of Cups and Three of Cups. Eight of Wands. There's a lot of flirting beforehand, a lot of foreplay, um, you know, caressing and touching here, feeding each other, tempting each other here, and you're ready to be milked with the looks on here. <laughs> Scorpios, just stop. Um, yeah, positive movement forward with the Eight of Wands. 
quick action. I don't think that's a good thing, but sometimes a quick is good, right? You might be late for work. <laughs> but yeah, somebody's talking a good game for sure, but it seems like it's more than words here. They get you excited with words, but it's more than words. Oh yeah, they're very experienced, the emperor here. Like, yep, I know how to get the job done. So you're calling in somebody who has a lot of experience like you, so maybe been through um, certain things in their past too, and you guys can vibe and connect on this same sort of level. Um, but they're very experienced and very abundant. Um, so they have a huge weapon. They know how to use it. Be warned. Be warned, you know. Get very watery <laughs> because they are... <laughs> Oh gosh, yeah, let's see. The Knight of Wands, you guys are just animals. Could be a fire sign here, um, but or a water sign, but you guys are just animals, can't get enough of each other. And this time, you know, when this person rides off into the sunset, they want to take you with them. Okay, it might be that they're older than you or you're older than them with the Emperor, this soulmate that's coming towards you. Um, I do feel you overexcite them, so they may come very quickly um, with the Knight of Wands energy, but raring to go again. Experience, right? Experience. They know how to quickly satisfy you if they, you know, are going to quickly come. This time when, you know, this person is taking you with them, it's just about passion. Eight of Swords can't get you off their mind. You are driving them crazy. They actually think that you've put some sort of black magic on them because we can see the devil in the back. They're like, what sort of devil magic is this Scorpio put on me because I just can't get them out of my mind. I can't wait to get them into bed. I'm thinking about what we can do next, what position we're going to be in, you know, what I can do to them. I just want to eat them up. I want their clothes off. <laughs> Scorpio... Everybody thinks like we put some sort of black magic on them, right? Because they just start obsessing. But, and of course, if you're a cross watcher, the message is always for the watcher. This is what this person could be thinking about you. Um, They think you've put some sort of magic on them that they can't get you out of their mind here. They can't stop thinking about you and maybe even having these dreams about you, fantasizing about you two of swords so they're like do I make them an offer do you know what do I do because I think um you're being very tempting towards them very seductive and luring them in and they're still not sure if it's safe with you like are you gonna sting them with that stinger are you gonna release that poison will I die if they if I get stung by this Scorpio well the thing is they still want to come forward they're still making this offer right like I'm pretty sure it's going to be worth it if I get stung. Um, I will die very happy. <laughs> so this is somebody welcoming with the Two of Swords energy. Um, we can see, you know, her legs are open. This is something they fought about with the Eight of Swords over and over again. Um, so even though they know it could be a Venus trap in there, they are going in anyway. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> going to be a lesson either way right so it's like you know if I get her I'll learn something you have a lot to teach them here um could be that they have a lot to teach you as well um they might be very good um orally so they're going to be like okay watch this <laughs> and drive you wild which makes you want to take them with you wherever you go um so I, th I think you guys start thinking okay we've done it in the bedroom we've done it here you start experimenting thinking about new places to do it here um okay right as soon as we've finished that and they've left okay where am i gonna do it with them next it's like this constant thinking about you um and i think this queen of cups embraces the loving energy that comes with it and how deep the emotions are because you know if you're dealing with a Scorpio and cross watching for a Scorpio you might think oh they're just really into me uh passionately and want my body but they really love you too here with the Queen of Cups energy this is happy to be with you with the Three of Cups and want to take you with them 
with the knight of wands energy there six of pentacles yeah um this is two people now being more balanced uh, i feel you could have been a little bit bored before but this person is like i'm here baby um, let me out of you, <laughs> okay? Um, there's this balancing of energy coming in. So if you, in previous relationships with the forgiving and learning, if you was the one giving, remember, be open to receiving as well because this person wants to give as much as you're giving. I think you might have learned to be you know, giving all the time and always giving of your energy and you just haven't learned how to receive here. Be open to receiving because um, it gets draining and tiring being, give, uh, you know, always giving. So that's why you could end up leaving things in the past because you get tired of always giving and then you're like, when I'm done, I'm done. But we have to be accountable for how much we're giving as well, right? If we have give too much and we're not getting any back, we should stop, right? And... Once we move away from that, then we can receive some energy back. So leave them space to give you some back as well. The six is related to the lovers, of course, here. Um, so this is positive energy coming in for a soulmate. Balanced out, okay? Um, a lesson, you probably learned this lesson with the Hierophant next to it. Not to be so giving. So you're now more open to be taken care of to building with somebody, working hand in hand. Knight of Pentacles, at Scorpios, I keep saying it and I'll say it again, there is an offer of serious commitment coming in for you guys. And just because this person um, comes quick, doesn't mean they're going to leave quickly, okay? Knight of Pentacles, they're here to stay. They're here to slay, stay and they know how to do that slow grind too, so... Don't give up on them straight away. You're very tempting. It's not their fault. Good luck, guys.